Professor, my name is Dr. Obadele Kambon. I'm a research fellow here at the Institute of African Studies, and my focus is on language. My section is language literature and drama. I do my PhD here in linguistics. Uh, finishing in 2012, I won the Vice Chancellor's Award for the best PhD thesis for the year that I came out. It's the first time any African from the diaspora has won that award. Um, where it comes to languages, it's very important for us to understand and know those languages. Um, languages like Chi, like Ga, like Ewe. For me, I speak Chi, Yoruba, Wolof, those are my main three African languages. English, of course. Uh, Portuguese, I learned that through Capoeira, which is an African combat science. Um, Kiswahili, Kikongo. And then there are many others where I can just do basic greetings. You know, I can do that in Ewe, in Ga, in Bambara, in Amarinya, in Isizulu. Like if I list all of those, we could be listing all day. But I don't count those among the languages that I actually speak or you know, work with. Um, born again Africa. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, born, born again Africa, uh, or born again African, when I was there, it was you know, very powerful experience. Mm -hmm. um, the executive secretary to the president, Neil Thomas Kwesi was also there. Uh, several other speakers, including myself. And, you know, because even from the name, we can tell that it's a very important thing because you have so many people right now who have misconceptions, miseducation, diseducation to the point where they want to remove their human hair and make it more like the hair, the fur of a horse. They want to no longer have human skin and make their skin into the skin of a dog or a pig or something of that nature. So for this, it helps us to understand that we should have dignity and pride, that we're the original human beings. We're the only unmixed homo sapiens sapiens. Others are mixed with Neanderthals, other ones who have had mutations on their genes, as I spoke about at their presentation. So it's very important for us to know who we are as African people and I think that, you know, what's going on at Born Again African is something that is helpful for that goal. Okay.